So, Jessica, a lot to look forward to with those two specials. You're obviously yeah. a big part of that first one because mm -hmm. that was your year. Oh my gosh, I mean, and underneath it, you saw it said wild winter lasting impacts and those atmospheric rivers that we had all across our West Coast definitely are still leaving behind some impacts and some good ones too. So let's talk about that a little bit. We are above average when it comes to our rainfall versus average for the season. We're also really high when it comes to our reservoir count. Our snowpack was amazing this year up in the Sierra and we have lots and lots to break apart when it comes to that storm or those storms that actually impacted not only us here in California, but all the way up in the Pacific Northwest too. This year was an interesting year and I'm going to break this apart tomorrow during the special in more detail, but this was an interesting year because last year we had plenty of atmospheric rivers that impacted us, but the tr storm track was a lot more south. This year, it was a lot more north, at least when it came to the heavier ones, the level fours, the fives, all the way up into the Pacific Northwest. So they got their fair share of rain too, but back here in the Bay, back here in our state, all that rain really did help when it came to our drought monitor. We're officially out of drought conditions, and of course, we are seeing a lot of green out there right now. I mean, look at the Oakland Hills. Look at all the hills around the Bay Area. We've been seeing beautiful, lush life. The California poppies are just in full bloom right now. I was at the Golden Gate Park yesterday, and I just couldn't get over how beautiful the state truly is. And that was just the park, for example. Up in the Marin Headlands, it's gorgeous, too. Now, here's what it's looking like as we head into the rest of this week weekend, I should say, into early next week. High pressure is going to continue to move its way in, and that is warming us up and drying us up once again as we kick off next week. So the forecast that we have today is very similar to this weekend. I mean, above average temperatures, a mix of sun and clouds, kind of like what we see right now just above me over the Bay Bridge. Daytime highs in the 60s near San Francisco and Oakland, but we warm up down into the Santa Clara Valley where we're already off to a more blue start with our skies with 70s in the forecast for us heading into this afternoon. And as we head into next week, well, we get a little bit more of a warm up. 80s returning into the Bay Area by Sunday and Monday, and then a big drop down into the 60s heading into late next week with a cold front right around the corner.